Hello there, friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around these parts, hello. Thank you so, so much for clicking. In today's video, I'm doing a plan with me for the week of April 29th. Just flowing on through, trying so desperately to catch up, <laughs> which means I've been doing a lot of these plan with me, like voiceovers and talk throughs and such. And I feel like I'm running out of things to say because I've done so many in a short period of time. Um, so bear with me if I sound wild and crazy, but we're trying out here. Um, for this week, I'm using, I'm pretty sure this was the March mystery from this year from Scribble Prince Co. It will be in the title, but it is artiste and paint themed. I think it is stunning. I love the art so much and I just had to use it. I didn't have a reason. I don't even think this was in my kit lineup video. I would just decided to go with it. I think I was going to use, not necessarily for, oh yeah, for this week, this is Cinco de Mayo week. I was gonna use one of my Cinco de Mayo kits, but I don't know, I just wasn't vibing with them. And I just kept revisiting this one and revisiting this one. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna pivot. <laughs> we're gonna pivot and we're gonna use this one instead. So um, I started this video as a talk through, like the base actually as a talk through. So if you see me like pointing randomly randomly or kind of staying somewhere for too long um that's why so i do apologize i did speed it up as much as i could with this stuff so i'm so sorry if you know there's a moment in time where nothing's happening i tried to do my best with that but it didn't go as well as i would have hoped <laughs> but all is well so um foil i'm like what's next what do i do how do I do this? What's my job? <laughs> so for foil, I'm using this gold hollow paint or artist themed, I think it's called artist um, in Planner Choco shop. Pretty sure it's called artist. And it is in, I think I mentioned it's in gold hollow and I'm just obsessed with the paint splatter underlays are my favorite. I think this just foil bundle is so good. And of course, theme wise just matches perfectly and I was kind of going back and forth on what foil to use with this one but I'm so glad I landed on gold hollow because I feel like it does such a good job of picking up all the colors in the kit and it's like um what was I gonna say oh because I omitted so for the core like what am I saying the glitter headers I omitted the yellow color but I did pull pull in some of the yellow for like the functionals of the kit and I feel like the gold hollow kind of makes up for some of that missing yellow if that makes sense I don't know I just feel like the colors worked <laughs> basically is what I'm getting at I'm over explaining but y'all know what I mean so that is all of the nitty-gritty I didn't pull I don't think I pulled in anything else but if I have any a la carte things I pulled in and I noticed them I will let y'all know but that's everything really as far as this week goes um it was the last week of the semester which seems just so far removed from reality because it is now mid-june which is cray cray to even say out loud but it is indeed mid-june so it feels like that was a long time ago but this week i'm planning for was the last week of the semester so everyone was everyone was trying to get in their like last minute appointments and such so there's a lot of that going on, which means it was like unusually busy. And then the girl that I supervise was off this week. So I was covering some of her, um, some of her responsibilities, not all of them, but some of them. So it was a little bit of a hectic week for me in regards to work. But other than that, it was my brother's birthday this week. Of course, it was Cinco de Mayo this week. And I think that's it. As far as what happened this week, I feel like it was pretty boring. It was a pretty boring <laughs> week, just like standard work-ish. So because I've done so many plan with me's and I'm running out of things to chat with y'all about, I did look up a tag because, you know, that's what we do here. And I found a like get to know me tag, which I think is fun. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of questions, some of which y'all know and some of which you probably don't, honestly. I don't think I've done this particular one before, although it is a possibility that some of the questions might overlap. So 
Alas, I'm going to do that for this video, but let me know if you have any questions on any of the stickers that I use uh, down below if you want to know where they're from. I'm trying to be better about answering comments, so hopefully I will get back to you soon. I'll probably answer you quicker if you just send me a DM on Instagram, honestly, but I know not everyone's on Instagram, so bear with me, but I'm going to try to get to your comment ASAP. Okay. The first question is, what time do you go to bed? Such a basic question and such a question that has so many answers. It really depends on the day. I would say anywhere from like 10 to 12 is pretty usual. I feel like lately it's been later because one of the beautiful things about working from home is you don't really have a commute. And because of that, you take advantage of kind of sleeping later but also going to bed later because you know I'm just scrolling or I'm binge watching a show or something that's usually what keeps me up until 1 a.m. so <laughs> I would say 10 to 12 is probably my standard if I had to pick a standard somewhere between 10 p.m. and midnight is when I'm falling asleep second question is who is your celebrity crush oh my goodness I haven't even had a celebrity crush in so long <laughs> I feel like I had celebrity crushes when I was younger and now like I don't know that there's anyone that I'm like oh my god you know what I mean I don't know that I have one there's plenty of celebrities that I think are good looking but as far as like a crush crush I don't really think that I have one um the first person I can think of that's really good looking and I have no idea what the actor's name is but it was um Mike's son in Bad Boys because I just saw Bad Boys recently his son. Oh, wow. I got to I got to figure out that man's name cuz oh my god. He is beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, next question. How would you rate your childhood on a scale from 1 to 10? Oh, we getting deep up in here. I would rate my childhood an 8. Um yeah. Yeah, I was very well taken care of by my parents. Of course, I had you know, kind of the issues that you would find in childhood as far as like bullying and self-esteem and all that other stuff but like for the most part it was pretty good honestly and when I, especially when you in retrospect obviously that doesn't apply to everyone but in retrospect when you're an adult and you realize all that goes into being an adult you really value being a kid <laughs> you're like can I go back to that time when I didn't have to worry about bills that'd be great uh, what is your middle name? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all. Um, I cannot share my middle name. So I have this whole strange thing around my middle name. Like it became such a thing at work. One of my coworkers was trying to actually two of them were trying to figure out my middle name because I'm like, I can't, I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> like, I can't. Um, so I'm not going to tell y'all, but I will tell you it starts with an E. That's all you get. Okay. Next question, what are your favorite values and friends? Ooh, this is, a, this is a sweet question. I feel like if I can be my authentic, genuine self around you, then that's the best value I feel like a friend can give you. I feel like loyalty is important. Um, I, feel like, I feel like support is, impor is important, encouragement. But I think most of all, if I can be myself around you, that's the highest value for me that's the highest value of a friendship to me um okay what is your funniest memory from high school wow what is my funniest memory I don't I don't know <laughs> I can't think of anything funny and I'm sure many funny things happened in high school but that was so long ago that I really can't think of anything next question is what is your favorite holiday Halloween I love Halloween. Y'all know this. What is your best trait? Ooh. What is it like physical trait? Character trait? Ooh. Um, let's see. Physical trait. This is so hard. <laughs> my face. I like my face. She cute. She cute. Face card never declines. My God. I don't think I'm quite at that level, but I, it just reminded me of that Beyonce lyric. <laughs> my face is cute. I like my face. Uh, if it was character trait. I 
I don't know. I hate talking about myself in this way. I don't know. Next question is, what is your favorite restaurant? I really, I think it's the Cheesecake Factory, to be honest, which I'll, like, I was trying to think of another one, but, like, I love the Cheesecake Factory. If someone is, like, you want to go out to eat and they're going to let me pick, I'm going to pick the Cheesecake Factory, like, nine times out of ten, so, unless I'm really craving something else. Unless Flo's around and she's like, nope, this is what we want today, and I'll be like, okay, (laughs) whatever you say, queen. Next question, what is an interesting fact about you? I would say it's that I have a YouTube channel and I play with stickers, but y'all know that. I feel like that's a very interesting fact whenever I try to explain that to someone else who has no idea what this is. Like I had to do that recently in therapy and she was like trying to get it. (laughs) At this point, it's just funny. Um, But yeah, that would probably be the most interesting fact about me. Otherwise think of another interesting fact about me at least that most of you probably don't already know what is the first thing you notice about people I feel like their energy is probably the first thing I notice which is like not necessarily visible but I can feel it when I'm around someone so I definitely vibe off energy and I can feel someone's energy usually so I'll say that's the first thing I notice what is your spirit animal See, this question makes me think of an actual animal, but a lot of people just pick other people to be their spirit animal. I feel like Beyonce is mine. (laughs) Are you surprised? What is your favorite piece of clothing? My leggings, for sure. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. How long was your longest relationship? The one I'm in right now. We've been together nine years. It's not getting longer than that, I don't think. What would you or have you named your children? Okay. Um... I don't think I'm I'm gonna have them but at one point I did think about like when I have them what I'd want to name them and I love the name Luna and I love the name Mateo and the name Mateo if y'all been around is significant (laughs) y'all probably know why I picked Mateo if you've been around okay next what was I love how it says what was slash is no I'm not in high school anymore What was your favorite subject in high school? English. I like to write. Oh, no, I already did that one. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Probably. Honestly, I have been. I feel like this is is not a traditional flavor, but Ben and Jerry's peanut butter half baked. I have been addicted to that damn ice cream. Like every time I go to Target, I get two. One whole one for me and one whole one for Bay, And I can easily eat the entire thing in a sitting I have to like really be mindful and put it away so that I don't eat it in a sitting but usually that only extends it to like one more sitting and then it's done it's finished so (laughs) that freaking peanut butter half baked from Ben and Jerry's is so good next question what was your first job my first job was a computer lab monitor as weird as as weird as that sounds in college. Uh, It was my first like part-time job, my first job ever. And literally I did nothing (laughs) y'all. Like it consisted of me sitting like at the front of the computer lab, usually doing homework, honestly. And then I would like switch out paper if the printer needed more paper um, or if someone was having an issue printing (laughs) or like really nothing. (laughs) truly nothing I did nothing it was the easiest money ever of course it was like a part-time college student gig so it was probably like eight dollars an hour or something ridiculous but it was such easy money I'm sitting here like can I contact them right now um I'll just be a student again just to get easy money like that (laughs) next question what is the first item on your bucket list I feel like my bucket list items are always in relation to traveling I really want to go to PR. I want to go to DR as well, but PR just because I've never been. So I would say that's probably at the top. What is your go-to hairstyle? My hair is almost always up, y'all. It's either up in a clip or up in a bun, up in a ponytail. It's very rarely down. (laughs) Like it's down usually for the totality of a couple of days. And that's usually as soon as I get it done. Like, (coughs) excuse me like the day I get it done it will be 
down for a day or two and then it's back up <laughs> it's usually always up which is probably not the best thing but I either get hot or I feel like it gets messed up and then I get very self-conscious about it I have a lots I have lots of issues around my relationship with my hair maybe that's an interesting fact about me <laughs> okay next question have you been to any concerts or festivals I've been to several concerts I don't think I've gone to any festivals, like music festivals, although that would be really cool. Okay, next question. If you could change one bad habit of yours, what would it be? The need to do everything. <laughs> I, it seems so vague, but also I feel like y'all get it. Like just the need to feel like if I don't do it, it won't be done right. Which in some cases is true, in other cases is just me being controlling <laughs> if we're gonna talk about it we all talk about it all right what is your most memorable childhood what is your most memorable childhood memory just being a kid I mean I, I don't know there's like groups of them like playing with my next door neighbor just not worrying about anything other than being a kid in school and like homework and Things that I would just love to have only on my plate right now <laughs> instead of what my plate actually looks like. I don't know that I have a specific one. Maybe it was like the big, big family trip we did when I was like 10. We did a big one, nine or 10 or something or 11 maybe to Florida with like my dad's side of the family to do like we did Disney and we did Bush Gardens, I think. That's probably one of the fondest memories I have because it was just so fun. It was so nice. It was just with my cousins the whole time. If we weren't in a park, we were in a pool. It was like blissful. And I didn't pay for any of it. Even more blissful. <laughs> Even more blissful. What are your pet peeves? Lately, my pet peeves are injustice. I mean, is injustice, I guess I should say. The different instances of injustice that we continue to see both internationally and nationally, those are my biggest pet peeves at the moment. Do you have any bad habits? I'm sure I do. I bite my nails. I do so less now because they're done usually, but I still bite them sometimes. What else? What else is a bad habit? I feel like, especially with cleaning, I'm not the type of person that finishes a task and starts another one. I'm like doing 15,000 different tasks at once. And then I get overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel like this mostly happens with cleaning, though. Like, everything else I can, like, focus on a task and finish it. But with cleaning, I'm, like, in the kitchen. Then I'm, like, oh, let me start cleaning the bathroom. And then I'm, like, mm, bathroom's not done. Let me go finish the kitchen. <laughs> it's, like, girl, focus. Focus. Just one thing at a time. Do you have any pets? I do not. But we would like a dog someday. How many siblings do you have? One brother. Technically, four. Da, 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 four technically four brothers three are half brothers though uh do you prefer the city or the country probably the country I kind of like where I've been I think I've always been near enough to the city that I can get there and enjoy the parts of the city I like temporarily and then revert back to suburban areas so I think country though where did where did you grow up I grew up in Connecticut what social media platform do you use the most? Instagram. Well, I would say Instagram and YouTube are pretty close. Maybe YouTube, actually. I think I use use YouTube a little bit more than Instagram. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. All right. Got it. <laughs> what is one thing you wish people knew about you? I feel like at this point, y'all know quite a bit about me. It's like it's been how many years now on YouTube? If you've been here for the whole ride, I feel like you know quite a bit about me. When was the last time you embarrassed yourself? Probably last week. <laughs> Honestly. Um, hmm. When was the last time I embarrassed myself? I don't know. I can't remember. But I feel like it was probably recently. But, like, embarrassing yourself, I feel like, is such a part of human nature these days that it's not something that's memorable for me. I'm just like, oh, there we go again. What are your life goals? Wow. That's a big question. Uh, right now, I want to 
move to hopefully a single family home or a duplex uh, that has enough space for me to have my own like separate office and I want my parents to be somewhere where they can afford to live. <laughs> Those are my life goals at the moment. I want to all the things I want to travel, I want to be financially secure, you know, all the things that people normally want is also what I want. <laughs> so what is your morning routine? I don't really have one. Um, I get up, uh, I go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, have my coffee, have my breakfast. And depending on the day, usually I'm working or I might just be chilling or cleaning. Just depends on the day. Okay, next question. How would you describe your fashion sense? Right now, my fashion sense is comfy. Is it comfy? I want it to look good, but I mostly want it to be comfy. Is it comfy enough for me? That is what <laughs> determines the winner most days. Next question. What is your favorite book? Y'all know I don't read like that, so I probably would pick the Harry Potter series. Actually, even if I read like that, I probably still would pick the Harry Potter series. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's just too good. What are your hobbies? This is it right here, right now. YouTube, planning, stickers, sticker making, all the things. What inspires you? Oh, this is a good question. I feel like lately I'm inspired by... I feel like I'm just inspired by people who are passionate about whatever it is they do. And I don't mean your nine to five. I mean like whatever it is that moves you. Um, if you do it well, I feel like that inspires me. I think that's why I love the likes of Beyonce and respect a lot of artists and people who just, you know, find their thing and, and do it well. Um, that inspires me. What else inspires me? I mean, I feel like a lot of things inspire me lately. I find it in the smallest things these days. Um, I can be inspired by being outside, by a beautiful day, by a nice breeze, by water, being near water. I love to be near water. Um, I can be inspired by a TV show. I can be inspired by a comment I read. Uh, I'm inspired by music. I can be inspired by so many things. So I would say many, many things inspire me. What is your favorite color? Blue. What is your coffee order? I don't really order coffee outside of my house. Well, obviously I don't order coffee in my house. I make it, but I don't really have coffee outside of my house is what I meant to say. I, the only thing I really get as far as drinks is the ice matcha latte from Starbucks. I get it with soy milk and I get an extra scoop of matcha. If you're wondering, that's my Starbucks order and it's my favorite thing to drink. I just had one like a couple of hours ago. I was like, I need some liquid gold to get through this um, afternoon for sure. So next question, what was your dream job as a kid? I think I wanted to be a lawyer as a kid, which looking back is absolutely insane. Well, you know, looking back, actually, it's not that insane because I don't like injustice. So it does make sense that I wanted to be a lawyer, but I don't even think that I had the capacity to understand what that meant when I was talking about being a lawyer because I was a kid but I feel like as a kid it's all the same like you hear about an astronaut a lawyer a doctor like there's so many jobs out there you don't hear about when you're a kid I feel like that's changed a little bit but as a kid it was a lawyer <laughs> which although I feel like it aligns with the social justice side of me I could never I'm so soft-spoken I hate being the center of attention <laughs> I don't like confrontation, all things that a lawyer should be comfortable with. So there's that. Next question. What phone do you have? I have the iPhone 11, y'all. Don't laugh at me. It's been hard times over here. I have the iPhone 11, which I realize is an ancient fossil in today's time. <laughs> Let me know what phone you guys have. If you have um, an iPhone. Let me know which one you have because I feel dated just saying this out loud. Okay, uh, where are we at? What was your dream? No, I just did that. What is your favorite TV show quote? Lucy, you have some explaining to do. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite. That and um, Rogelio de la Vega. That's my other one. <laughs> How many countries have you traveled to? Just two the U.S. of A. and the Dominican Republic. Those are the only countries I have been to. 
Well, technically, I stopped in the PR airport to get to DR a few times, but, like, I don't count that because I didn't leave the airport. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Ooh, what a fun question. I love this one. Okay. I have several. So I have like sections of YouTubers. So I watch a lot of reaction videos, which you guys know. So my faves for reactions are Kyoshi Warrior, the Biscomi Twins. Um, who else? I watch a lot of Zach Campbell. He's just hilarious. I watch Herbie Rivalis, who I think, I think his channel is incredible. Um, who else do I watch a lot of? Um, Debbie Dubs. I watch him a lot. I think that's the book. I'm sure I'm missing some reactors that I enjoy, but I feel like those are the big ones. Oh, I just recently got into H.T. Hayes. He's hilarious. Oh my gosh. His reaction to Cowboy Carter is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Like, so, it's so embedded in me and I loved it so much that sometimes I'll listen to Cowboy Carter and I will hear his comments like while I'm listening to it. That's how much I adore his reaction. It was hilarious. <laughs> it's cracking me up. Um, yeah, he's great. Okay. And then as far as like planners, I feel like so many of like my planning YouTube friends have kind of stopped doing YouTube videos. Like a lot of them have not done many YouTube videos, but, but I watch Rosie plans, Amy Ray plans, Laura Marie plans. I'm sure I'm going to miss people. I'm so sorry. Jinjoy plans, C underscore loves planning. There's so many. There's so many planning channels that I watch. Shout out to y'all. I know I'm not going to get everyone, but please know I probably watch you. If I follow you and you have a YouTube channel, then I probably watch you, especially if I've been following you for a long time. There is a possibility I may have, I may follow you and not know that you have a channel, but I, fo I follow and watch most of, um, I watch, I should say, most of the planners that I follow on Instagram. So, yeah. Um, and then, like, we watch a ton of Disney vloggers. The Tim Tracker, PC Dev, Ordinary Adventures, Magic Journeys. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Disney Food Blog we watch a lot. A lot of the Disney vloggers. And, yeah, I think that's it. I'm finished up with this spread. I think I'm about to flip through what I have left. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. There's tons of questions, so I might do it again for my next plan with me. We'll see kind of what goes on for that one. But thank you so much for watching, y'all. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and the questions and the tag. Um, I love how this spread turned out. Let me know down below any of your answers to some of these questions. And I will see y'all real, real soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. See y'all real, real soon. Bye.